Hello again, this is Roy Gillis, Syntex Sports, and we're up to the next uh, segment of the show today. Uh, and today, Jalen, we get to kind of go back to uh, kind of sort of my roots, man. I, I, <laughs> we, we got a guest coming on that I, I watched him, uh, you know, from a distance and the team that he played on and uh, even watched him as he went from uh, high school and uh, on to college and uh, even to the NFL, watched him. And I, I'll notice he always had a, 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 a presence about him, even in junior high school. He had a presence about him. And uh, uh, I really appreciate that. And uh, because we are from the 80s, we, we are considered old school, Jalen. I'm just telling you right off the top. Okay. We are considered old school. Okay, okay. Uh, but he played he played on a great team, maybe, maybe arguably – one of the greatest high school teams in Texas football history, none other than uh, Quentin Smith. Uh, let's go ahead and bring him in. Hey guys, how you doing this night tonight? Quentin, Quentin, how you doing, hey, man? Hey, I'm I'm good. I'm good. You know, no complaints. A little warm outside, but hey, you live in Texas, you know what it is. You know. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's yeah. We, 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 about to be football season, so you know. But the heat is the heat. Yeah. It, it is. Uh, it's it's one oh five, one oh six here in Waco today. So it's 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 cranking. It's cranking. Well, it's cool. It's cooling off here. It's only a hundred right now. Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> so uh, as I did uh, in the intro, uh, Quinn. Uh, you know, I, I haven't seen you or spoken to you, man, since the since the early eighties. Uh, at a, at a, at a distance, I saw you. Uh, um, doing football, doing football season, and uh, you know we we both had an opportunity to go to Cullen Ezekiel Cullen Middle School, <laughs> and uh, uh, I, I went on the book, I went on the Booker T, and you went on to the uh, to the world famous Jack Yakes Lions, and uh, y'all had a pretty good team in 1985, man. Y'all had a pretty Pretty good team in 1985, and uh, to, uh, uh, just just tell us about what it was like if you can remember back uh, anticipating going into that '85 season. What, what was even on y'all's minds, man? You know, uh, and people when we talk about this, uh, late Coach McGowan, you know, he tells the story all the time. When we lost to Madison in the Dome in '84, okay, we lost. Mm -hmm. We were down 21 nothing, and they put the juniors in, which was our state team on offense. And we went down the field and made it 21-19 in five minutes. And, wow. you know, we had a we had a misread at the end and threw an interception. Otherwise, we would get ready to go score. You know, we would have upset them. Uh, but we lost that game on Friday night. Yeah. Monday morning, everybody laughed at us at school because we lost. We don't normally lose mm -hmm. in the Astrodome. And mm -hmm. in fourth period, you know, you turn your equipment in and all that. We didn't do that. Coach is looking for us. They thought we went to lunch. They couldn't <laughs> find us. We were outside on the field practicing. We just lost in playoff game. We were outside on the field practicing. <laughs> so we had that loss in our mind the whole year. And we're like, we're not going to do this anymore. We're not going to feel like this anymore. And so we knew we were – really good um and we never talked about playing or beating a team in the city of houston because you don't win state in houston you got to get out of houston to win state so we never feared any team in, in the city of houston uh madison beat us you know ironically madison i lost to madison three times in four years freshman <laughs> year and twice as junior and then we beat him my senior year um but that year, once we got rolling, uh, we played on Mossberg, they had us down, which is the only time the whole year, 16 to 6. And they had us down on three field goals to 45 yards. That's why we were down. And Bailey ran the kickoff back, so it was 16 to 6. The final score of that game was 46 to 16. Wow. So once we kick in, that was a wrap. That was a wrap. You know, we had three teams that scored more than ten points. You know, okay. you, you we know, gave up seventy-seven points a year. 
45 in three games. 77 the whole year, 45 in three games. Gave up not, we did not give up a point, not one point in the third quarter in 16 games. We gave a one second and a half touchdown the entire year. And that was in the fourth quarter, five minutes to play against, and it was six when they scored. So it wasn't like they were going to win. So uh, but it, it, it was fun. We had we had guys all over the place. We had all, it, it, guys. Uh, uh, Quinn, I, I got a I got I got a small a small beef. So Jalen, he just went. He just told you about the scores. Mm-hmm. We played <laughs> them in the last non the non district game, Booker T. Washington. We always play against oh, the last non district game. It was thirty one. It was it was thirty one to nothing. I can tell exactly the score. It was thirty one nothing. This is that this is the problem, Quentin. The last play before <laughs> half, Johnny Butler breaks for a long run, and this oh, Greg, he tall, That's it. That Jalen, <laughs> Jalen, we could have scored the last play before halftime. But Butler was uh, all district running back. And he was all district in track. And this thin dude <laughs> came from the other side of the field and ran him down <laughs> around the three yard line. Oh. Y'all could have let us y'all, y'all, y'all could have just let us y'all could have just let us have a, a score. A score. <laughs> but that that's that's what this team, Jalen, was like. Uh they were uh, not in 19 they really were good all those years and quentin talked about madison there was more people at the madison game that would be at a baylor game that's how many people to the astronaut 44,000 people 44,000 that night yeah and it was be 44,000 inside and probably another 20,000 outside that's how (laughs) big of a show it was a show when jake's Showed up. It was a show, man. It was like a. It was like a show. And Madison, they had some players. They had some players. They had some good teams. But Yates was the Rodney, Rodney Todd. That was his team. Yeah. That was yeah his, yeah yeah. Rodney he missed the year that beat us twice. Yeah. Yeah. So, and so it, it, it was really definitely a jerk. Yeah, we we played some really good teams. Had some Westbrook had Alvin Lee, who went on to start start LSU. You know. Didn't matter oh. against us. He didn't have 40 yards. <laughs> you know, Reggie <laughs> Moore was at Madison. Up. We went to UCLA. Uh, say, uh, Brody was there at Madison, and they they beat us. You know, it was the for the New York Jets at Wheatley. We beat them 68 to nothing. Alfred Williams was at Jones, uh, who's first round pick. We beat them. They had the closest game was 13 to six and 21 to 15. Those are the two closest games. You know, but we played guys. I mean, you go to San Antonio Homes, and we played the Cash Brothers. Keaton Carey Cash played seven, eight years in the NFL. Johnny Walker, leading receiver yep. in the state. Not that day. Yep, yep. 34 to 7. <laughs> Not that day. Go ahead. Go ahead, Jalen. <laughs> Quinn, so when you uh you know, talking about some of those guys you got to play against, when you were going in, just going into practice, what was it like seeing the, the amount of talent over uh, your your years there at Yates, just the amount of talent every day that you had to go against just in practice alone. You know, it, it, it's funny because we get together about once a year and they always come to my house and we don't even invite the wives or the girlfriends. We don't do that because they still talking about who was better, the offense or defense. This 35 mm. years ago. Mm. We still having that debate in the kitchen, you know, yeah. from 35 years ago. Could y'all stop us? Could y'all have scored on us? Could y'all have stopped? Us. Like, dude, there's no way you can stop on one touchdown a quarter. Okay, Quinn, nobody scored 28 points on us in a month, let alone in one night. We did. Spring game, yes, we did. It was 38 mm-hmm. to 35. So, yeah, we did. Yeah. So, we still do that. You know, so that was fun. Um, you know, ironically, the quarterback, the tight end, and both receivers, we all went to color. Yep. The running backs all went to Ryan. Except for uh, uh, Lawrence, who you know, so we just had a little bit of everything. It's all jailed at the same time, and it's all jailed right. Um, 
you know, but playing against the guys in practice, you know, if you can run the ball against our defense, you boot it. Yeah. And we can run the ball against our defense in practice. Because we got Gary, Johnny, Johnny Fisher, you know, Gary Williams, you know, Lawrence King. We had those guys. You know, Johnny yeah. Fisher, and people don't believe me when I tell this story, Johnny Fisher was the fourth running back. Fisher had 42 carries for like 400 and something yards. He has 17 touchdowns. He's the fourth <laughs> running back. <laughs> He's the fourth running back. He had, he had one he had one carry in the state championship game. One. One carry, 37 yard touchdown. That one carry it's, he had. It's, it's, it's amazing. But to to, to you, you bring up the defense, Quentin. That linebacker core, uh, <laughs> Gardner, uh, the late Kenneth Payne, and the the uh, beast mode Foster. Uh, yeah. Man, talk about them linebackers that y'all had running at, at at Yanks. You know that was the thing. You couldn't get three yards. You just couldn't because <laughs> there was no place for you to run. You know, Gardner would play weak side linebacker, and then Gill played over the top of the tight end, and Melvin was in the middle. You couldn't block Payne, so you couldn't get to the outside. You forced back to the inside. Melvin sitting there. You couldn't block him. Then you had Gardner sitting on the out, on the other side. You know, and the guy in front of Gardner was a guy named James Good. James Good was a fifth-round pick of the Falcons, and he started as a fresher freshman in Oklahoma. He's 6'4", and ran 4'5 in high school. You couldn't go over there either. So where are you going? You you really had literally no options to run against us. You know, so you had to take it in the middle and hope Melvin missed you. That didn't happen the most 99% of the time. He didn't miss. You could you didn't have a block tight end that could block Kenneth Payne. You know, you couldn't block James Good and then Gardner sitting out there unblocked. Where are you going? It it was just one of those years, like it was just the perfect storm where you know, the guys up front and, you know, kept them, kept them off the linebackers. And when they did get to the linebackers, linebacker made the tackle. You know, people don't, if they go back and look at the stats, between San Antonio Holmes and the state championship game, we had 41 tackles for loss. Our 41 wow. tackles for loss or sacks in the state champ in the last two weeks of the season against the best of the best. The best of the best. That's, that, that's right. Uh, okay. Talk about when, when I look back at this season, and then I'll come to you, Jalen. When I look back at that season, talk about the team that people don't talk about, Jesse Jones. Jesse Jones was probably, on paper, the closest score-wise to y'all. And then it was just the rivalry. It was, it was, it was South Park <laughs> and Third War. It was a rivalry yeah, on the field. Yeah, and, and, they, and it was a rivalry in the street. Guy. <laughs> if you talk to any of those guys, they think they got cheated. Yeah. You had two yeah. shots. In the, uh, you didn't get cheated. Yeah. You know, in Barnett. We played them, we played them in the we played them in, in the Robertson Stadium in a torrential downpour. And then it started. They got down. They had first and goal on the one. And it, they were up six to nothing. First and goal on the one. Lightning came. Okay. They stopped the game for 30 minutes. We go back out. They didn't gain a yard. <laughs> we got it, and we took it down. We got 99 yards. We went in the halftime up 7-6. And then from then on, they couldn't do anything. That was a wrap. They never they never crossed the 50 after that. And, oh, it was just muddy. Well, like we was playing in, in good grass, and y'all was playing in the mud. No, we played in the mud, too. No, it was we had nine fumbles, and y'all still couldn't win. You know? Then we get him in the Astrodome, and Bailey hits the sideline. You know he runs a um, he runs a pump back for a touchdown. Um, Zeno catches scores a touchdown. You know, uh, so we up twenty one to six, and it is I'm sorry twenty one to seven, twenty one to seven, and with six minutes to play, they go down and they score, and they go for two and they make one fifteen. And we get the ball, we run the clock out. Oh, if it wasn't for that punt return, oh, that was it. Oh, man, I don't want to hear all that. 
I want to hear that. Oh, y'all cheat. And people don't, they lost, enough, they lost to somebody else. I just don't know who the third lost. They lost, they were 10 and 3 that year. You know, uh, no, 11 and 3 that year. So that's, you know, it's not our fault. It's, you know, you just in the wrong district. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we and, 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 but they were, yeah. they were, they so, were a really good football team. They had Jimmy, that quarterback, they had a really good receiver who went to the NI and Williams, you know, ended up being first round pick in Super Bowl champ with Colorado. Um, they had some really good players. They just had a really good team the wrong year. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was uh, it was one of those things that I kind of feel bad because we, you know, we see all these guys at the park at Yellowstone. All these Jones guys, they would be at the park, you know, woofing. And uh, I, I, I kind of feel bad for them, but it is what it is. So uh, we, we're getting ready to cover this uh, uh, Yates versus Carter game. Yeah. And uh, uh, you, you probably paid attention a little bit to Dallas Carter 1988. When we go back to them 80s, uh, Carter had a pretty good team in in '88, and so the, the 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 talk always is, who had the better team? Was it Yates '85 or was Carter '88? And 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 it, that's always uh, the talk among sports prognosticators. I'm from Scott Street, so I'm always the one repping Yates. I'm putting them in the conversation. I'm like, dude, this was the best team I ever seen in, on, in my with eyes that '85 team. <laughs> What do you think about that 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 that, that know, comparison? You know, I I hear this talk all the time. Yeah, they had a lot of athletes. They you know ended up winning the game at the end in the state championship game. They tied somebody. They lost the game somewhere along the lines. You know, so my thing is this: if you don't have a zero on the right side of your column, don't come for us. <laughs> That means somebody beats you. <laughs> Don't come for it. We're going to start at that. We're not going to even get to the point of you had to get an injunction to play every week because you was playing an eligible player. We're not going to even get to that. Then we're not going to even get to the point of you tied a game, you lost the game. Then you had to get the injunction, and then they took your state championship trophy from you. So why are you talking about us? Don't, don't, no. no. You are not. Oh, that's the Premier won that game against them one to zero. Or whoever they mm. play is one to zero. Technically, what it is. So d- don't bother us. You have you don't have a zero over there. Don't come for us. You know. Yeah, you had Jesse Armstead. You had some players that went Division One. Just stand Yeah, we had eight in Division One. We had twenty seven. We had thirty six seniors. Twenty seven got his college scholarship to play football at some level. So it's yeah. not like we didn't have people. You know, no, and we no, had it the no. first year, Prop Forty Eight. Yep, I remember. We lost two guys the whole year. Mike Davis the first time and Ed Skinner the second time. That's it. If we'd have had Skinner, you really wouldn't have been able to get a damn first down in the middle. Hey, <laughs> playing DC, hey, DC. hey he, he, listen, he's he's talking real talk. Both of them brothers, <laughs> Ed and Fred, was killers. Yeah. yeah. So, so, you know, it, it, it was, I, I mean, I hear that every, Carter says that all the time, and yet they had a great uh, BT. But you know, at some point, you got to be supposed to do off the field to be on the field. And if they're gonna take it from you, that means you're doing something you shouldn't have been doing. So you know, we fight through Prop Forty Eight the first year. We had to fight through Holmes not sending us the video. We had to fight through of not changing, exchanging film with us. They refused to do that. We ain't giving you our film. Oh, okay. We can guarantee you, you ain't never playing nobody like us. So <laughs> you need to worry about us more than we need to worry about you. Because we're going to get to you. Don't worry about that. And we're going to run what we run. Everybody in the world know it. First play of the game going to be 14. It's, it is what it is. And if you don't stop it, guess what the second play going to be? 14 again. 14. And if, <laughs> if you ain't stopped that, if you ain't figured out the whole week how to stop 14, you can get, get a whole dose of 14. You know, <laughs> and people don't realize we beat them 37 to nothing. We threw one pass in the second half. One, Coach Booker told us with 10 minutes to play, take the starters out. Y'all done. They can't beat us. We don't want to embarrass them. Mm-hmm. So, it was only so y'all put in Santana Dotson. <laughs> See, here's the funny part of that. Santana wasn't even on the field. Santana didn't play varsity as a junior. 
Yeah, uh, I, I've game. heard that story. He got moved up because we had too many guys. We had too many seniors. We only dressed, We only had six juniors on the team. That's it. We had a backup hmm. quarterback and a backup linebacker. The rest of the juniors started. Wow. We had wow, two juniors wow. that started. Stephen Hill and Mo Hobson. That's it. And Johnny Fisher was a backup running back. So that's five of them right there. So mm. we didn't have juniors standing around. So Santana couldn't play in front of James Good. James Good had 46 sacks. He couldn't play in front of Larry Gill. Larry Gill had four quarterbacks. Who you think of the people? One of them dudes. You know, so it ends up just Santana, hell of a player, hell of a career. But he wasn't, I'm not saying he didn't play in the state championship game. He didn't play in the state semifinals or the state championship. They have a uniform on. <laughs> That's how deep they were. Go ahead, Jay. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, so when when you think about we kind of just touched on a little bit when he asked about that that Carter team. Uh when you think about that 85 Yates team, and you've got a chance to actually watch all the way from there up to now, and you think about the good uh Texas high school football teams over the years, the South Lake Carrolls and in the nineties you had uh in San Antonio with uh 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 I don't know why I went blank with uh the San Antonio team uh with Judson. You had Judson in the nineties and then you had uh the teams over in the two thousands with South Lake Carroll and Lake Travis. You think about the eighty five Yates teams and how they would stack up against all of those other teams. Do you believe that eighty five Yates team is the best team in Texas high school football history? You know, the way I look at it is this. If you do something that's really special, you don't have to talk about it. Everybody else talks about it for you. Okay? We don't have to brag about what we did. Everybody talks about it for us. You know, those teams at Westlake were really good. The teams at Duncanville are really good. South Lake Carroll is really good. You know, Judson actually beat us my son 29 and 19 when they had Chris Pryor, and they went on to win state, and then two years later, we go win state. Um, so they're great Texas high school football teams. I just want to know if, how could you beat us if we give up four points a game? And we average 30. <laughs> and that's 30 yeah. with him taking us out. <laughs> so if you can't score... You're not going to keep us out the end zone for four quarters. It's not going to happen. So that's the way we look at it. You couldn't score against us because you couldn't block the ends. So you ain't going to get to your quarterback. You couldn't block the linebackers. So you're, they're going to get to your running backs. And, and that's just the way that, that we saw it. Uh, and I'm not taking away anything to what those guys did with the with the pack that South Lake Carroll had or how the guy Westlake, Westlake has done. I'm not taking anything away from those guys. But – you know, quarterback and throw the ball be standing up to do it. You know, your defense has got to stop us. You got to stop us for four quarters. And we got myself, I had nine, 958 yards receiving. Zeno had 800 yards receiving. Lampkin had 700 yards receiving. Price had 29 touchdowns. You know, that's not even talking about the running backs. Yeah. yeah. You know, you. If you if you were to beat us, it would have been the way that the Yates team lost to Lake Highlands, eleven fumbles. That's how you would have to beat us. But we weren't gonna drop it eleven times. Mm-hmm. We just weren't. That, we that's the that. that's the that's the Yates team. Uh, eighty one was that 81? eighty one? Eighty one. They lost to Lake Highlands in in the uh, the, in the Astrodome the six. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the They had Ledet nine Ledet fumbles. Quarterback. I'm sorry. They had nine fumbles and two interceptions. And they only yeah, lost yeah, nineteen yeah. to six. And one of the I one remember. of the touchdowns that the other team scored was an interception, big six. Mm. So it's not like they yeah, just yeah. they just literally could not come to the football. Yeah. So for a, a few to beat us, that means we we had to beat us. We beat us. We would have beat ourselves. That's the only way you could beat us. Yeah, uh, uh, coach. Before we before we let you go, if you had. Uh, to give some advice, since so you've talked about uh, your history going all the way from Yates to Kansas to the league, give some, uh, have some advice for those young kids in high school now that are wanting to get to that next level, that are looking uh, on ways on how to get to that next level and, you know, what it's like, all those type of things. What is, would be some of your advice 
to some of these high school student athletes now? You know, number one is take care of your grades. The first pers- the first stop for any college coach is the counselor's office or the registrar to get your grade, get your transcript. If your transcript's not right, they don't care how good you are. They're going to keep giving it to the next person. Because if you're going to struggle in high school, they're not taking a chance for you because they like they. Two hundred, three hundred, four hundred thousand dollar jobs. They're not gonna take a chance on you because you're not taking care of your business there. Uh, so you gotta take care of your grades first. Number number two, you gotta be coachable. You're not you you're not talking back to these guys. If you think you got all the answers right now, you're 15, 16 years old. Coach is gonna go right on to the next person. So you have to be coachable, you know. And you gotta work. The only place success comes before work is in the dictionary. So if you're not working, you're not willing to work, you got to work when nobody's looking. You know, if, if you're cheating on the gas or touching that, not touching that line when you're supposed to touch that line, it's going to show up. It's going to show up in the fourth quarter when you're trying to do your own thing. And guess what? You're going to get your team beat. And you're going to be out of the playoffs. Quinn, we want, man, I want to thank you so much, bro. I, I, I uh, you know, you guys have a lot of fans. That 85 team, uh, you guys had a lot of fans. A lot of you guys had to pull the whole city of Houston. You were the first uh, school really out of Houston to win, first UIL school, uh, 16 and 0. And, uh, yep. and so uh, while we we might have been hating a little bit uh, during the season, in that postseason, man, we, we was all pulling for uh, Jack Yates. Some people said third ward high. Uh, just, just whatever. Uh, just very, very proud of him, and, and then proud of uh, uh, you guys afterwards. I, I, I do see you meeting. Y'all do that. Uh, uh, a team. Yeah. Y'all get together, and mm-hmm. and it, it, yeah. when y'all do that again, man. If if someone call us, I want to send a camera crew down there, man, and just uh, really make those guys talk about. Because you 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 did a little talking today, but there's some talkers in in that group. <laughs> you got I'm, some. I'm the quiet one. I, you were quiet. In the, I, I remember. I remember that. Uh, uh, I'd like to hear what your quarterback says. That I, I take. I take some. I take some uh, credit for the great Charles Price was one of the best quarterbacks ever come out of Houston, in my opinion. Right, high school quarterbacks. Uh, I take some credit. We played little league together for a couple of years. I was the quarterback, and he was the receiver. Jalen, I was so bad at quarterback. <laughs> that Charles decided he needed to move from receiver to quarterback and the rest <laughs> of his history. Wow. <laughs> I, was, I was so bad. And he said, I, I need to move to quarterback. So when he got to coming. So, but man, I, I, I really appreciate it uh, 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 and, and enjoy watching your career. And uh, I hope I can stay in touch with you guys and, uh, just keep chronicling. I love it because it was our neighborhood. It was our part of the city. And it was just different 35 years. Just different. It was just different. Uh, and Yates is one of the few schools, still a predominantly black school. It's one of the few. It might be the last in, in Houston. And Wheatley. Uh, Wheatley, Wheatley, Wheatley and Yates. Wheatley, Yates, Worthens pretty much. Um, but yeah. That's, yeah. So the, last, yeah. The, old, the old school. Really, Nate. Uh, yeah, pretty much. So, so, and, and we, I took a lot of we took a lot of pride in it, and and I'm so glad. If you ever need anything on our side, bro, you got a you got a film crew. We got a broadcast truck and everything. Hey, uh, we'll roll up on some some Jackie Yates '85 folks and make it look real good. So just let us know anything you ever need. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Hey, I, I, I enjoyed it. You know, like you said, you went to color, and you know, I. I to my Scott Street, thirty-seven eleven Carter went to Whidbey, straight to Color, and then kept going to Yates, right down Scott, right down Scott Street. You know, so, so I'm, elementary, middle, high school. We go, yeah. I'm gonna take you back because this this was the class you was in, Mr. Burroughs' class, wasn't you? At Color and Algebra One, I sure was. Algebra One, I, you were yep. in that class. Payne was in that class. Yep. I believe Price was in that class. Yep, and. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, all these, we was all in algebra, Jalen, you know, at color. <laughs> yeah. At yeah. color. Great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Great. yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, Pam, Pam, but, I, actually, I actually went to kindergarten with Larry Gill and Zeno Alexander. Really? At Whitby. What's what? So we went, at Whitby, we went okay. kindergarten all the way, all the way through high school together. 
Okay. All right. All right. I went to Foster. I was at Foster across the street from. Yeah, you were Foster. So, you, were over, you were Foster over there with with uh, with Price. Yeah, yeah. Me and Price was in school just about all the way uh, until until I until high school until high school. So, uh, so you but were, anyway, so you were over, you were over at Booker T with a guy with a guy named Robert Haynes that played running back for you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Robert Haynes, Haynes and I played. We, we Robert Haynes and I played little league football together. Really, yeah. We yep. uh, we, we had Haynes, uh, Philip Thomas, uh, Arthur Walker went off to Colorado. Was on that that yeah. that team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Arthur Walker, yep. and uh, we 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 had a few players. We had a few players. Yep. All the schools yep. did inside of Luke sixteen. You know, if you ever yeah. want to go back and look, go back and look at the nineteen eighty seven. I'm sorry, the nineteen ninety one NFL draft. Okay, mm -hmm. you may have eight or nine HSD guys that got drafted. Wow. In 87. Wow. I'm sorry, 91. <laughs> so you're talking about Alfred, Canavis, Hampton, Keenan McCardle. Yep. Out of, Santana. Uh, uh, Waltrip. Yep. Waltrip. That's just five. That's only five yep. right there. Yep. Yeah, I think, yep. I think yep. it was yep. either eight or nine because Canavis and I counted them one year. It's eight or nine. That got drafted out of HISD in 1991, and I played oh, against. Oh, I forget. So no, I I just named those five, and hell, I forgot the two on my team, Zeno and Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. seven right Z there. Uh, Jalen Zeno went to Arizona, mm -hmm. where yeah. your friend went. Uh, where your friend was coaching, Coach Norwood. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, he, okay. He was a he was a receivers coach there. He knows. He remembers Zeno. So, so uh, the, okay. The, the the ironic part is that Good got drafted by the Falcons. Zeno got drafted by Detroit. The Falcons released Good. Detroit cut Zeno and picked up Good. And Good and <laughs> Zeno then went to the Falcons. Flopped. Then Zeno eventually got cut, and then Good ended up going over to Cleveland. Which is kind of crazy. You get you you. Get, yeah. It's kind of crazy. Your, your high school team basically flip flop, you cut for each other. Yeah, yeah. So okay. it's <laughs> a, a, a a major story, rich history, and and I'd like to try to tell a little bit more of this story if possible when we get a chance while we're still here, because we've, we've already Absolutely. lost you know quite a few. We are and uh, we are at we are at ten that we've lost. Ten. Ten. Wow. Yeah, because I think uh, most recently was it Gary? Uh, so we actually had Monroe in April. We had another backup, Vertiz, who died in February. Uh, so those two, we had Darren Nash, and we had Darren Frazier and Paul Nash that got that died during COVID. Then you had um, Clifford Blackburn, who took his own life. Then you had G-Dub, Gary Williams, who got killed in a car accident the Saturday before 9-11. Then you had Bailey, who had pan pancreatic cancer. Cedric Hill, he's a defensive, offensive left tackle. He had a heart attack. Yeah. Uh, and I'm missing one guy. I can't think who is off the top of my head. I'm missing one guy because that was only nine. So, yeah, so that's yeah, 10 of yeah. us that we've lost. So, yeah. So, yeah. We, 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 uh, and and we've we, we, lost them. And the oldest one that we've lost was 54 years old, 55 years old. Wow. 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 Yeah. Yeah. We need to tell some more of this story. Uh, while we still got some guys, we got a great cinematographer on staff, and love to send somebody down there, man, just to just to just to record it if nothing else. And, no uh, problem. And, I, and and my my daughter will be the assistant because she's got her degree in film and TV production. She's already made her own oh, documentary, wow. she's having it edited so she can send it off to a uh, to film festivals. So yeah, so really? she'd be the one that's like, uh, 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 do it this way, do it that way. That would be her. <laughs> Never watch a movie with her. Never. She's taking notes, yeah. doing the movie. She got a little notepad doing the she movie, taking off. notes. Oh, yeah, absolutely! It's like out. watching, it's like watching football with me. Yeah, don't, uh, -uh. you know, <laughs> you know, like I know. If you don't know football, you can't watch football with some people that just they fans, and you know football, you can't watch football with them. My yeah, son, no, my no, son figured that out. You know, he's no like, fun, no fun, no fun, no fun. No fun. You sitting there explaining everything to him. They don't see uh, the game. They, yeah. they they see the ball. They don't see the game. 
<laughs> well, uh, well, hey man, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. I, I really mean that. Take care of yourself. And uh, uh, I'm going to be reaching back out. And I might have to reach back out on another one of our platforms to interview your daughter. You know, since she's making documentaries, I, you know, I'd like to, I'd like to find no out problem. more about that. Yeah, yeah. I'd like she to find made, out more about made, that. The one that she made is about uh, two ladies that um, they're a couple. They were both sentenced to prison, and then they had a son named Julian, and the son had to be shipped off to family while they're in prison. So she made that. She told the story from the kid's point of view. Wow. You know, so yeah. I'll. You know what? Here, you write her name down, and I you you can go look up look it up on YouTube, and it's called Lost Time, and her name is Channing Smith, like Channing Tatum, C H A N N I N G. And you can look it up mm -hmm. and you'll see her little two and a half, three minute thing that she's done. So, yeah, I'm writing it down. That's her. All right. All right. All right. Hey, man, be okay. good. And uh, let's get in contact. And uh, 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 congratulations on uh, being able to talk a little bit about the Jack Yakes 85 a team. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. So, we'll hey, th hey, thank you for having me, guys. It's been a blast. I love doing this. Love doing this. Thank Anytime you, my brother. You and you're gonna you're gonna ask us about Carter. You, you kind of insulting us a little bit, but you know I'm a little more patient with you than some of our other guys. They gonna be, they gonna bite your head off. You had you had Larry Gill and James Good and Price, and you gonna ask them yeah. about them. They gonna bite your head off. Man, don't even bring that shit about us. If you lost a game, you can't talk to us. You ain't in the room with us. Ooh. You know, you know Ooh. As, as we like to say, you know what? We may not have been the best team in the state of Texas. But when you call a roll, it's a short list. Mm. It's mm. a short list. Mm. And we're on that list. Talk your talk, now, my brother. You, you mentioned that about <laughs> HISD winning. But uh -huh. the funny part is that there's only been two HISD schools to win state in football since integration. I'm sorry. Since integration, we're the only one. Mm. Wow. That's it. Since integration. Lamar won, I think, in 53. But we're the only ones wow. since integration. And all of the other previous teams that won state for Yates was PBIL teams would won maybe 12 or 13 games. Yeah. You know, and that's four teams. But we're the only HISD team to win state since integration. That is amazing, wow. man. I, 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 that, I, integrations, integrations in 55, 54. So you done went 70 years, you still ain't had another one win state. Hey, I, I tell people now, you know, because we, we, we cover sports all over the state and all different, you know, college and college and high school. I tell people some of these powerhouses that they have now, like Katie's, I was like, Katie didn't want to come inside of Loop 16. They ain't want no parts <laughs> of us. They wouldn't let us play Lamar. Really? Wouldn't, they wouldn't even let us play Lamar. We played them when I was in the ninth, in the ninth grade. It was 63 to nothing when they stopped the game in the third quarter. They ain't want to play us. They wouldn't let us play them. Thing that we ain't playing those schools. Those outside, and they, I mean, they didn't want to play no school inside Loop 16. So uh, all no. all these schools that you mentioned, Worthing, Sterling's, uh, uh, Madison's, Yates, Booker T, Cashmere's, yeah, no, they they didn't want to they didn't want to see none of those schools. Yeah. But they were powerhouses yeah, they, later on. Yeah, they they, <laughs> they didn't want, they didn't want to come they didn't want to come play in the dome. They didn't want none of that, and they no, definitely no. wouldn't come and play Barnett Stadium. No, that was a Barnett was a little rough spot. That was a little rough spot. We got at least at least we got to play y'all in Del Mar. We played you at Barnett my senior year. Was that Barnett? The year before your the year before we played you at Del Mar. Our senior year okay. we played at Barnett. It was the first game of the season. Okay. All you right, ain't got to worry about it. I, I can tell you. Uh, it, uh, yeah. yeah. We played at Barnett. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You remember you remembered the play that I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And one time that our gold pants weren't in and we had to wear our white pants and we wore white pants and red jerseys. Only time we yeah. ever did it. Yeah. 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 They so, couldn't let they couldn't let us score that touchdown. They could have let us have that touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> they could have let us have that touchdown. You know, but but it didn't somebody, have to be somebody zero. else did it. Somebody else did it. Jeff Davis on the opening kickoff, we played them in the we started off in the mud. And they Got outside, two guys came in, they slipped and fell, and all of a sudden the guy from Davis is gone. Eagland did the exact same thing. He wouldn't caught the guy on like the 20-yard line. 
they four plays, they were out, and we go score, and it was final score seventy two nothing. So yeah, it was yeah. So we, we didn't, you know, it just is what it is. All right, it, it just is what it is. all right, all right. Okay, <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> all right hey uh, we'll, we'll talk soon bro we'll talk soon okay, hey take uh, right, uh be good. text me take text, text me your phone number when you get a chance i got you okay all right all right now all right. talk to you later all right bye-bye so there you have it uh Jalen. uh great interview with quentin smith uh receiver at the 85 jack yakes team and uh they, they they had a squad, man, and uh, yeah, you know it was it's 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 one of those things, almost like a a, a lightning strike in history, where all of these different uh, athletes came together, and, uh, and and you know, other other than Madison, they might have had the next best basketball team in the city, you know, uh, and so yeah. they just they they just really uh, you know a lot of those guys like Quentin, I would see these guys. Uh, in middle school, and 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 said I, I went a different direction after uh, middle school, and uh, it, it just some great some great guys, great coaching, uh, great families, and that uh, I don't think there is a high school alumni like Yakes, uh, like the Yakes alumni. Maybe it is Carter. Maybe her alumni is. Uh, just yeah, as passionate, yeah. yeah. Just as passionate about it. Uh, what, 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 do, what do you think about uh, uh, Quentin talking his talk about that eighty-five Yates team? Yeah, yeah. I mean, hard to make an argument when you know asking him about how it stacks up against these other teams throughout history. I mean, hard, hard to make an argument. Like you said, giving up four points a game and uh, averaging thirty on offense against. I mean, you guys were naming off twenty, twenty-five plus. NFL players just playing against, and that's what they were doing to those guys. So, I mean, uh, always great to get to hear rich history about schools like Yates and like Carter, but, yeah, the 85 team is special. It's, 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 it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. And so uh, <clears throat> maybe we'll get a chance to talk to them another time to make some yeah. bids. So uh, we're going to Dallas uh, on Saturday. We're going to Dallas Saturday. Some of you will be watching this maybe at halftime or sometime before. Uh, again, uh, and, and uh, Carter taking on uh, Yakes, and uh, again we branded this the I forty five Legends Classic. Uh, uh, two big brands in high school football. Mm. Uh, uh, you know, you still got the South Lakes and uh, uh, the team out of uh, is it West Lake? The uh, teams out of Austin yeah. and Austin, you yeah, know Lake Travis, guys, yeah. Lake Travis and. Highland Park, he mentioned uh, Highland Park. Uh, they were in the state champ. Well, they won the state championship uh, about three, four mm-hmm. years ago. Uh, yeah. Uh, in the four, five A, in the five A division, and mm-hmm. so uh, uh, and this Carter team, this Carter team, Dallas Carter, uh, nineteen eighty eight. Uh, they still are in the conversation. Uh, yeah. uh They had a lot of ups and downs that year, but they're still in the conversation of oh, yeah. uh, great high school. Uh, football teams. And so uh, we'll be there on Saturday night to see this matchup. Uh, Coach Gilbert, uh, he was pretty adamant when, when he was asked about 85 or 88, he said uh, Dallas Carter uh, yeah, was the better yeah. team. And uh, yeah. he did also mention that they won the matchup, the series mm-hmm. between the two. So we're looking forward. We're looking forward to that. Uh, you got any last things before we wrap up, Jalen? Yeah, guys, uh, got a lot of things coming up this uh, incoming season. Obviously, we've got Conley scheduled uh, throughout the season, but we've got some more stuff scheduled and uh, some surprises for you guys as well. So make sure you guys are following us on our social medias. Uh, that's Syntex Sports Network, uh, dot com. Then there's Syntex Sports on Twitter. We got Syntex Sports TV on Instagram. So make sure you guys are reaching out on all of those platforms and uh, uh, make sure you subscribe and following us on there so you can Stay along for this ride as we get ready for football season. Yeah, yeah. So big weekend. Look forward to everything. Uh, thanks to Top Choice Lending, uh, Ken Gilliard, uh, sponsoring this show today and also one of our title sponsors for the game coming up. He also is a graduate of Jack Yates. 
And I think he went on to play. I'm trying to remember he either played, I think he played at Southern. He went on to play at Southern University, Southern or Grambling. But I do know it was a swag school. Uh, I, I have to make sure I get that because you don't want to, you don't want to mix them kind of things yeah, you don't up. Mix those two up. <laughs> you don't want to mix them up. You don't want to mix them up. And so, uh, and so we, we we look forward to that. Make sure you guys are locking in, and we will see you soon. Uh, the next time on Syntex Prime Time.